Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I wanna discuss five things men do to make themselves look unattractive. Now, I'm not talking about looks. That's a, for a different video. We do have videos out there that <clears throat> are specifically talking about looks, dress, things like that. This is more back-end stuff that you might not realize you're doing but you're coming across unattractive to women and to all your other relationships. So if you feel like your dating life could use a pickup, if you're not getting the quality women you are looking for, if you are in a rut with your dating, and you, you kind of seem to be dating the same type of women and you want to level up, take a good listen, take good stock, take some awesome notes on these five reasons why you may be viewed as unattractive. And by the way, guys, I see a ton of people are watching our videos, but they're not subscribed yet. Please hit subscribe, hit like, drop a comment on these videos so that we know we're interacting, so that we know we can take um, these ideas, these concepts, and actually help men level up. Women too, please hit like, hit subscribe. This isn't an official red pill channel where we're bashing women. We're helping men understand their own dynamics, understanding their own frustrations and helping them level up and try to be a better version of themselves so that they can go out into the world and have better relationships. So hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you'll know when new videos are made. The very first one is you're not assertive, you're unassertive. You don't take action. There's a lot of guys who really like a girl and they play it safe with her. They say, well, maybe if I become her friend and I talk to her and, I, and she confides in me, then maybe she'll like me. Well, the problem with that is you're not taking action. Okay, a lot of women, you need to get to the point with women. Why are you in their lives? If you're looking to date them, you need to ask them out on a date. If you're just looking to be friends, cool, do with what you're doing. By playing it small and having that fear of rejection doesn't serve you and it's actually kind of pathetic. How would it look if you're talking to a woman that you really like, that you really want a relationship with her and you come at the angle with her that you're just friends, you're giving that friend vibe, you're really not pursuing her, but in the back of your mind, you just wanna scream out, will you date me? Can we go out on a date? Can Fuck, can we? But you don't do it, you keep that inside. And then she tells you about this guy who she saw at a grocery store and really started vibing and really started talking and guess what he did? He asked her for her number and he asked her out on a date. And then you get pissed. You're like, shit. Well, are you pissed because she is going out on a date with the guy or you pissed because you didn't shoot your shot and you played small and you tried to go the friend route to try to get a relationship that way. You gotta get to the point with women. Women love an assertive man, not an asshole, not a creep, not a dickhead but they love an assertive man. So state your intentions, state what you want. And if she doesn't want that, that's fine. You shot your shot, you got your answer. See, the thing with men is we get rejected all the time. We can handle rejection. We don't like it, but we can handle rejection. So wouldn't it make more sense in this scenario if you like a girl, and you ask her out. What's the worst she can say is no. Well, then from there, you can have that conversation. Maybe you just want to be her friends. I suggest don't do that, but you could do that if you want. So you have to shoot your shot. You have to be assertive. You have to state your intentions. The second thing that is zapping your attractiveness level, and we do talk about this before, is your scent. I can't tell you how, now guys, this should be common sense. I don't know why it's not, but I come across tons of people all day in what I do and the amount of men that just smell is, is ridiculous. And some of these men are pretty attractive, but they just smell. Some of them have 
horrible BO. Some of them have horrible breath. You can smell their clothes were maybe washed and left in the washing machine for a couple days. Then they threw it in the dryer. You have that mildewy smell on you. You have to groom yourself. This says so many things. Scent says so many things to a woman. Scent in and of itself can throw you back. Do you remember like a certain smell that you have came across that immediately threw you back into childhood? Maybe the scent of baking cookies and you remember your grandmother and it was such a cool time. That's how powerful scent is. That's how the power of scent is. It's an emotional thing. And so when you smell bad, when you look bad, when your clothes are dirty, when your breath is horrible, when it smells like you have hot fish underneath your armpits, it signals to women that he can't even take care of himself. He's probably not going to be good in a relationship. So scent is a huge thing. And then we're going to go the other way. Guys who Take on cologne and very cheap like Axe body spray. That also sends a signal to them that, wow, wow, buddy, you got too much on. It's too strong. So if you're wearing cologne, and it doesn't matter if it's polo or if it's a top-notch Tom Ford abso fucking lootly cologne. That shit's amazing, by the way. A good cologne is meant to be discovered not knocked in the face with everybody you come to. So pay attention to how you smell. It's a huge thing. Wash your clothes, brush your teeth, wash your ass for Christ's sake, and lighten up on the cologne. A tip for cologne, if you wear watches and you wear you know, a little bit of jewelry on you, put cologne on the back side of your hands. Don't put the cologne here and crush it. Just put it on the back side of your hands and then squirt one and two on the side of your neck. And then that's it. Don't put it on your clothes because that changes the chemical composition of the cologne and it makes it smell different. And then leave it alone. Yes, it's going to be a little bit stronger in the beginning of the day, but it's going to wear out and it's going to be meant to be discovered. Don't cake your cologne on. The third thing that's making you look more unattractive is quite simply you play games. See, there's a lot of coaches out there. There's a lot of videos out there that kind of go along this logic. He or she, whoever, cares less in the relationship, controls the relationship, thus controls um, that other person. I've heard it all before. I agree with the logic of it. You definitely do want your woman, if she's engaged with you, to chase you a little bit more. That does help set the tone for the relationship, but you don't want to play games. And what I mean by that is if you come from just that stance that I have to just not care that I have to play these games, well, you're treating this new relationship, whether it's a guy or a girl, as a power dynamic, as a power struggle. And women don't want to feel like they're in this power struggle. They want you to actually get to know who they are and not have this thought in their mind that this guy's just playing games. The whole point of trying to get into a relationship, if you are a guy trying to level up, or if you're a guy who just wants to casually date, you still want to connect with that woman. You still want her to feel that she's special and not playing games. So if you're playing games and you're going by the playbook that society has drawn up for you in some of these red pill coaching programs, then it's going to feel like you're acting out an avatar you are not. She's going to feel like she is just a placeholder in your game and not somebody you actually are trying to connect with. So don't play games. Go into the relationship, if you like her, with an open mind. Let her get to know you. You get to know her. And then state your intentions. If you're just looking to date, let her know that early on. If you're looking for like an LTR or possibly marriage, let them know. 
because then you have what's called reciprocity. Everything's equal. You stated what you want. She's agreed to it so that she can't, you, she can't come back and say, well, now I want this. Well, she certainly can do that, but if you still just want to casually see her, she can't get upset because you stated your intention early on. So you just want to be open and honest with what it is you're trying to do. Every man's different. There, there are men out there who want to get married. There are men out there who want to be in a committed long-term relationship. There are men out there who just want to socially date. All of that is completely fine for you. Just let her know which one of those guys you are in this season of your life. Don't play games. This is how when you play games, you get all these feminists, all these women bashing and hating men because there's enough men out there who are playing games, just trying to get laid, just trying to get their dick wet, when if they just said that in the beginning, half of the women may say, no, nah, that ain't for me. The other half might say, cool, yep, that's awesome. And now you have reciprocity. So do not play games. The fourth reason why you are coming across unattractive, and it sort of plays into the number three, is you're not being authentically you. Again, an authentic version of you is letting a woman know, hey, I like you, you're assertive, you smell great, you're stating your intentions of why you're talking to her, what you're looking for out of the relationship. That's being authentic. You're not lying to her. But a further one is, I see a lot of guys trying to act, look like, dress like, and be like someone else they're not. It could be maybe their favorite movie star, maybe their best friend that's really good with, you know, with women. It could be people like Andrew Tate. Now, I'm not bashing Andrew Tate at all. If you know who he is, there's a lot of younger men out there who are trying to imitate him. But the problem with that is you are not him. You need to be authentically you. So if you are creating this avatar, somebody you're not, and you do meet a woman, well, two things have to happen. Number one, you have to maintain that avatar because she likes that person you're portrayed to be. But number two, and more importantly, you cannot maintain that avatar. At some point, you're gonna develop feelings for her. At some point, you're gonna have a weak moment where she's gonna see the chink in your armor, she's gonna start seeing through it, and that's when shit tests are gonna start happening, and she's going to realize the fraud that you are. See, society is really good at telling men how they should be, telling men what they should think about, telling men how they should dress and all that. And yes, in some of my videos, I do allude to certain behaviors, certain things that you should strive for, but you should do it in a way that is authentically you. If you're a guy who more dresses casual and you just want to dress up because you want to dress up, well then do that. But if you're buying a bunch of suits because some influencer said you should always be in tip top suits all the time, it's not really being you. You don't feel comfortable in that. That's not who you are. If you're using buzzwords that are out there that are not what you believe, then you're going to come across fake. And again, women are super socially calibrated. They know, maybe not at first, but within a date or two, they know, they really know what's going on. They really will start seeing that this, something's not adding up. It's their intuition. So once they start realizing, man, there's something off about this guy, she's going to shit test the fucking hell out of you. And if you start folding, she already won. She knew, okay, this guy was faking. He's not being authentically himself. So with that, just be you. It, you're amazing how you are. Yes, you could level up. If you're a little bit overweight, of course you can work on that. If maybe you have bad skin, maybe you have a bad diet, of course you should work on that. Maybe if your money's not on point, yes, 
better yourself, try to get some more money. But all of these things you should be doing for you first, not for somebody else. And if you can do that, and if you have that mindset and you have that spirit to open up, uplift yourself, then yes, women will start taking notice, but they're not taking notice of your accomplishments. They're taking notice of that newfound confidence. They're taking notice of, he's an authentic guy. He's living his own life. He's living his best life. So don't act and be and wear and say things that you don't mean only to portray a false image of who you think you should be. Women are very good at picking that up. And the last one I saved the best for last, and I've done videos on this before, but I'm gonna to touch on it a little bit more. You have a shitty attitude. You, if you have this thought that life just sucks for you, that all the gods of the world have conspired to shit on you every single day, that women are nothing but narcissistic assholes. If you have these thoughts coming in, into your belief system, it's going to spew over to everything that you do. You're going to use negative words. You're going to talk negatively about other people and negatively about yourself. Nobody wants to be around a negative little bitch. What you want to do is, yes, recognize there's some issues in your life, but also recognize everybody has issues. Your struggles are not unique to you. They're human experiences. Everybody has felt the way you have. Everybody has experienced exactly what you're going through. I'm not taking it away from your uniqueness and how you experience those losses, how you experience those behaviors, but what I am going to take away from you is the excuse that you can be nasty, you can be vicious, you can be a dickhead to people because of all of these things that happen to you. That's a piss poor excuse. That's not being a, a real leader as a man. That's being a coward. And we don't want cowards. Cowards are not on this channel. We have a duty to uplift everybody around us. And the only way to do that is to have a positive attitude, bring positive energy into your life, uplift everybody around you so that they also have the ability to be the best versions of themselves. And it starts with you and it starts with your attitude. This is so important. We don't want to have a society of men out there who have this victim mindset. Yes, do we get beat up all the time? Do we have these feminists and toxic masculinity, all these stupid buzzwords that these Democrats are throwing across? Yeah, of course, but they're just noise. They're like little flies in the wall. Let them just buzz around, uplift yourself, be above that. Prove to them that you are a man worthy, that you do have morals, that you are positive, that you are trying to make an impact on not only your life, on everybody else's life around you. If you can avoid these five things, again, outside of your looks, these five core things are gonna far outweigh how you look. I've known men who are very good looking and they don't display any of these. So yes, a woman may first say, hey, yeah, that's a Chad or that's a Tyrone or that's a really good looking guy. But when they start to get to know him, they don't want anything to do with them because they display one, two, or all of these traits. I've also known guys who are not very good looking, but they have all of these traits on lock. They're really they don't display any of this crap and their relationships are amazing. Women don't really look at his looks as much. I'm not taking anything away from being physically attractive, but it's not the only thing that women look for. I hope this video helps. I hope you guys, if you're displaying any one of these five um, shitty behaviors, change it. Just Take that leap of faith to say, okay, maybe I am a little negative. Maybe I do bitch about everything. Maybe my life isn't going the way it's supposed to. Maybe I can do better. Challenge yourself to be a better person and then be assertive about it. 
Assert yourself, assert the new you. Start taking those steps. We have an amazing course that we're putting together. If you're looking for a specific one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or a couple of the other coaches that we have that helps you level up to maybe help you break through some of these bad behaviors, click the link below, fill out your contact information, and somebody will contact you within 24 hours to set up your free discovery call. It's 100% free. It's an hour of my time that I'm giving to you to help you understand some of these limiting beliefs, maybe other beliefs that you have. Women, I also coach women as well. I know this is a men's channel, but I have a ton of women who actually want to get inside of what a man's head is and also are going through some of their own limiting beliefs and what they think men are. So if you're a woman, put in your contact information, click the link below. We will get a hold of you. We'll set up a free discovery call with you as well. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is Magnetic Men's Club, and we'll talk soon.